In hopes of improving the relationship with the Bahamas, one of the most significant things discussed in the private meeting with Cuba's President Raul Castro and Prime Minister Christie was that invasion back in 1980 when Cuban fighter jets attacked our Defense Force officers on board the HMBS Flamingo, which led to the boat sinking. Four men lost their lives that day. Foreign Affairs Minister Fred Mitchell spoke with reporters back in Nassau about those talks. He said that he was the Minister of Defense at the time and that uh, he uh, has always been embarrassed by the mistake that had been made and he wanted to say uh, that he felt it was a tragic mistake uh, and that, uh, that even though reparations were paid, he felt that and an apology had previously been given. He wanted to extend uh, his own personal apology for, for that event and uh, to say how their country is dedicated to good neighborliness and understood that it was a mistake, uh, a tragic mistake that had been made and a tragic error. Well, the meeting, which is usually scheduled to run for about 15 minutes, ran for more than an hour. Other issues discussed included poaching, migration issues, petroleum exploration, and tourism, among other things. A meeting was also held betwe between foreign affairs ministers from the Bahamas and Haiti on Monday to discuss the new immigration policy. He indicated that uh, at the earliest opportunity, and we expect very shortly, that the minister responsible for passports and uh, the foreign minister may visit the Bahamas just to see for themselves what the situation is here. Uh, on the ground, and secondly, uh, they undertook to uh, make some changes so that uh, they can meet any demand for passports and also um, the question of the price, because I'm told that uh, in the Dominican Republic, uh, the passports, they say, are at quite a reasonable rate, and I gather passports uh, here are fairly expensive for people, so they're looking at the pricing price point of the passports.